morning and welcome to Lijiang. It's 6 a.m. here and today we're gonna go hiking in the Yulongshan, like the Dragon Jade Mountain. We're also gonna see a bit of a blue valley right here, very nice waters. I was actually there last year, but I'm gonna go back there with my friends, explore a bit more first. But we're gonna have breakfast here in the morning. Yesterday was quite disappointing, so we're gonna explore a bit here and get some energy. We'll go up to like 4,000 meters leading with some hiking, so we need some good energy. So, gonna sit down here, enjoy, start the day in the best way with some great breakfast. Wow, we have a lot of nice ingredients here. Ooh. Oh, so the, yes, fantastic. So, I got to my dish here that is looking amazing. Really nice to sit here and you see people walking outside here in the street. Very, very local. We have all these dishes you can pick in the background. But let's start by trying out these amazing noodles. So these are the famous ones. It's like cross the bridge noodles, I think it's called. Let's try some of this nice beef here. It's looking tasty. Mmm. Always great for some good meat in the morning. I actually asked to add one or two portions, so I get some extra here. So you get a lot of good energy for later. Some steaming hot beef in the morning. I definitely had a worse start today, that's for sure. Mm. The sauce is actually very nice here together with the beef. And they have these noodles here. A lot of steam going on. Ooh, nice. We have the steaming mushroom noodles here. That's looking good too. Okay, let's try the actual noodles here. That is a good portion here. Mm, it's good. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. Fantastic way here to start. Very steamy in the morning. Get a lot of energy. Mm. Yeah, I rarely eat noodles in the morning, but it's great with some good meat and noodles to get energy for the hike. So I'm going to take my time. Enjoy this a bit here, together with the whole crew here. Then we're gonna start and get going. Actually, for some extra spice, you can of course add in a bit of the chili sauce here. I love some chili. Ooh, not too much, not too healthy, but really nice. Gotta spice up your life a bit. Mm, that is really good. Wow, here we got another dish. More amazing noodles. Yeah, that's the wontons. Soup dumplings, that is looking good. Oh, we have two dishes, I forgot. Yeah, I normally have more protein like eggs, but fun to try some local stuff. So we have a lot of carbs, actually more than I normally have, but I think the rest of the day is gonna be more meat and stuff, but it's good to have some energy for the hiking, so. Gonna have these soup dumplings here. Don't typically eat it, but it's very nice. It's kind of like, yeah, a dumpling, obviously. But inside, you have some meat, and it's kind of soupy, so you have to be careful when you eat it, but it's very tasty. It's wonton, not dumpling. Okay, yes, it's wonton, not dumpling. Wonton, dumpling and wonton are different. Very important to keep them separate, but yeah, some good important carbs and pork, let's see. Mm. Very soupy, obviously, and then you can put in some bit of a chili sauce here. You can if you want, but uh, maybe not everyone likes it. I put it here instead. You can dip it, I guess, here so we don't disturb the other people. A bit messy, looking crazy with the noodles there. Let's try. Mm. Very, very tasty. Yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy the noodles here with great company and the dumplings, or no, the wontons. Then, I'll see you a bit later. I realized we actually have one more dish here the local kind of eggs with some vegetables, I think. Jasmine. Jasmine, exactly. Jasmine flour. Jasmine flour. I've definitely never tried that before. So let's dig in and have a bit of a massive piece here of jasmine flour and egg. Interesting. Not sure how to describe that flavor. Not so eggy, not so spicy either. It's healthy. Some oil, obviously. We have some nice small peppers here as well, actually. Mixed in, looking very good. Mm. Yeah, so now I'm gonna enjoy all this great protein, carbs, a bit of oil as well. We have a lot of energy of hiking, so see you later. It was a very nice energizing breakfast for sure. It's really pretty just walking around all these lanes. You have the lanterns, of course, a bit more cozy in the evenings, but still, just love walking in all these alleys. But uh, now we're gonna go to the car and get going. Yeah, so now we've arrived here at the base station, or it's kind of like a big mall actually at the Yulongshan. Have a bit of a Tibetan vibes in the background. Just gonna get energized with the coffee and take the cable car up, so. Get that coffee started and let's go. Fantastic, we got some coffee with extra shot here. Important to have some good energy. Ah, nice, some black coffee with extra shot, full of energy. Let's go to the cable car. So now we've arrived at the cable car station in the back. I'm gonna go up here from like 2,200 now, I think, to 4,200 something. And it's gonna be a bit of a, bit of a walk. Oh, it's actually 3,300 already. So going up like a thousand and then walking a little bit. It's gonna be thin air and a bit demanding, but we had some good breakfast earlier, so let's get going. Yeah, I guess we're gonna walk from there up. So it's like 
4,500 to 468, 180 meters only. Yeah, time to go on the cable car here. Nice. Going into the mist, but hopefully going up over the clouds after. Ooh, let's get on. Oh, nice. Very misty here, but nice. Hope we see better soon. Nice. Here you see the cable car coming out of the mist. Pretty cool here with the clouds and the cable car disappearing. And now you're starting to see the snow up there coming out from the clouds. Seems to be getting up there. Still not perfect visibility. Hope we'll see a bit more if we go up. Yeah, let's get up. Okay, so we arrived at the platform. A lot of people have this kind of oxygen tubes here. It's like, Sounds like Darth Vader almost when you're breathing, but we're gonna skip that. I tried last time, I don't think it's needed. We have the mountain up here. So we're gonna walk up like 150 more meters here from 4,500 to I guess like 4,600 something. It's gonna be a bit of intensive walking, but not that far. So we're gonna enjoy this a little bit and then it's going. I think you can definitely feel that it's less oxygen here. I feel a bit lightheaded and dizzy. I think we're definitely gonna feel it more when we actually walk up here. It's pretty cool, yeah, this platform. will probably get a little bit tired, but very good cardio. It's pretty interesting, you actually feel quite dizzy almost, I don't know. You get a bit kind of out of balance, I would say. To walk up pretty fast, your pulse starts to go up. We only walked like this distance here, but the body definitely reacts to less oxygen. The legs get tired, but also hiked, you know, a few hours yesterday, so feel a bit tired, but very nice to wake up fresh here in the morning. Just gonna continue walking up. Nice way to start the day here, that's for sure. But not so good sight. Yeah, let's have a bit of a break here. It's not that far to go. Maybe halfway here. Just taking the sunshine. It's very warm actually. They try to sell you all these kind of big thick jackets and also the oxygen as I mentioned. But it's definitely not needed if you have an okay stamina when the sun comes out. It's really nice here. Relaxing way to start today. Going up and we have some nice meat later as well. So it's gonna be a fantastic start today. I'm also gonna see an old village later in this show actually impression that I saw in Legion, but yeah, very packed day, a lot of good stuff. So it's our break and continue. Seems that everyone else is doing like the oxygen here in the background, having a bit of a break, but uh, it's not needed, I think. Nice here when the sun is coming up. We just did a bit of a short walk to go here. Let's continue. You can definitely feel the impact of the height and the pulse being very heightened. A lot of people just standing or sitting down here, getting a bit wiped out. But it's good. Shows your life, <laughs> getting the pulse up. But most people, I think, just sit down and have a breathe of a break or kind of a breakdown here. Yeah, but fun to see that you don't need to do that. Your stamina is up. Fantastic. We're close here. Just maybe like 50 more meters to go. Just a short break first. Now the view actually got a lot better. You can see the sky clearly and the mountain. Really, really nice. Yeah, let's go up and get some fantastic photos over the background. Yeah, you can't complain just going out hiking with this crazy view here. I have definitely had worse mornings in my life. Yes, very exciting, of course. How can you not be excited about this? It's amazing. Let's continue walking. So the weather actually got really nice here, as you can see in the back. And I was also lucky, I actually managed to fly my drone a bit. I didn't expect that actually last time I couldn't do it, but I was a bit lucky. So I got a bit of a clip. So hopefully you saw it a bit in the back of the video here and already. Now I'm just gonna walk up here and whew, you feel a little bit this here, but just complete this. Tonight we're gonna have a lot of snacks in the old city, bit, so we're gonna get the steps in and burn some calories now in the daytime to make room for that. Just have the final stretch here. Let's go. Okay, we're almost there. Just a bit of the almost final there. stretches there. Almost. There's a lot of people here taking photos. Okay, three, two, one. Oh yes, we are at 4,600 meters. For a time, a lot of people taking photos. Nice, rewarding. Don't look forward to standing in that queue, but we're gonna sit down and try some meat, I think it's that. Take a bit of a break. And there's a lot of people here with these oxygen tubes everywhere, yeah. Breathing like Darth Vader. Ah, no need for that. Just need some good meat. Maybe a Coke Zero. Yeah, let's sit down. Photos? Yes, it's a long photo line. How do you feel climbing up? Good? Tired? Amazing. How are you feeling? Yes, amazing. Great. 
Vid, how are you feeling getting to the top? Awesome. Fantastic, yeah, not tight. Let's have some meat here, get some energy yeah, back. Let's try it. You have to get some energy. We have some of this dried meat here. Let's have a bit of this crispy, spicy meat here. A lot of good energy. Mm. Very chewy, but very nice. Pretty crazy background here to try some nice dried meat here. Sweet, but very tasty. Let's have some energy. Mmm. Mm. Very, very nice taste. A bit sweet, but also softer than the chewy one. Perfect. Very good snack for a break here. Enjoying the view in the background as so well. Very good rest. Gonna enjoy it now. See you later. Yeah, after that nice little break with some meat and some drinks, time to walk down here. A bit too much people in crowded. Now we're gonna take the cable tar down, go to this kind of, I don't know, Blue Valley or something. See the show in the Asian town, so. Good to get some fresh start of the day here with great views, but a little bit too much people. Furthermore, the wild nature, so more hiking later this week, hopefully less people, but shouldn't complain. I got some nice drone videos, so I'm quite happy anyway. Yeah, so it was a very nice start to the day with hiking, but now we're gonna see a show here. It's called Impression or Insang Lijang. I saw the same actually in Guilin here not that long ago. It's supposed to be famous. Directed by a very famous yeah, director, I guess. So we'll see. Seven minutes counting now. Let's wait and get it started. Nice after that show, a lot of action and local drama were out there exploring another small local town and not Lijang, it's another one on the way here so we're just gonna work around, explore a bit and hopefully find some local nice food and then tonight we're gonna go to the snack street and tell of different random stuff so looking forward to that because I'm not gonna have any really big meals before then, just gonna walk around the street here, have a lot of nice fruit and stuff so very nice relaxing day and the weather is really nice, it's getting warm here, no more need for a sweater. Really nice, so yeah, let's see what we can find. This is quite interesting, kind of like a pine coat. I guess you eat the seeds here. Never tried before. Here we have a nice local walnut as well. Very healthy for me, a lot of fat, but also very nice. But yeah, I have a lot already, so can I save that for another time? Interesting stuff. <laughs> Just eat them like this. Wow, seeds, cool. We have a nice little seeds here from this cone, pine coat. Wow, oh, it's very hard. Interesting. Tastes like Christmas tree. Walnuts here. Quite fatty, but very nice. I thought I was actually allergic to walnuts most of my life, but I realized I'm not, so very nice. Mm, yeah, super good. Walnuts, really good at super food. Let's see what the market find. Wow, we yeah, have the whole honeycomb. That is sweet. That's pure sugar. Tasty, but not so healthy. Wow, that is sweet. Local honey. Nice. That is looking amazing. It's a lot of natural good sugar. I yeah, changed my mind a bit. I felt I need to support the locals here. This old lady selling the walnuts. Yeah. Very tasty. I'm gonna give to my colleagues as a gift. Really tasty, yeah. Walnuts is, uh, you don't, you shouldn't eat too many, but very nice. So good to give, give us a gift and support both the locals and also nice for your colleagues who can't join you. So great purchase. We have some local people playing the local music here. Very nice to support the locals here. Just walk in the streets. Yeah, very beautiful. I see a sign saying coffee here in the background. Maybe not super Chinese, but I need some energy. And this place is looking very nice. Let's get some coffee. Hello. This is fantastic, we have the coffee here. This here, oh, this is looking amazing. Get a cute little nice cup here. And that here, let's try it. Cold Americana, zero calories, very tasty. 
can have a go around with some extra coffee to explore. Yeah, it's gonna enjoy this and walk around a bit. Wow, that is looking amazing. Having some local kind of pancake here with sausage and a lot of cool spices. Smells really nice. Yeah, we gotta try it. Yeah, these are looking really tasty, these snacks here. Gotta try it. This is a nice little wrap here. Smelling very nice. Let's try it. Have a bite. Mm. Wow, that was very tasty. Mm. Highly recommended snack, that's for sure. Okay, you guys try it. I had a bite. How was it? Very nice. Very nice, cool stores. Just some local bite? stuff. Yeah. Let's have the final bite here of the snack. Very tasty. Mm. Very good. Walking around, exploring the street here, having some fantastic snacks. Great, just walking around here, super nice temperature, and find this cool temple here, or I don't know what it's actually called. Maybe not temple, but old buildings, really nice architecture here. And the lanterns, then you come out from the shadows, so you have these old kind of wooden buildings, and you have these really nice red lanterns. So yeah, let's walk in and see what's inside. A lot of really cool stuff in the back in here like paintings I think or art it's almost like this stitched art here really advanced definitely not something that I could accomplish that is for sure you never know what you find when you're walking around here China always something cool food art culture beautiful nature really nice yeah let's see what's outside just walked outside here and yeah this really nice kind of open space here and you see the tree it's actually like apples growing up here I really like these old tiles and the style and of course all these pretty red lanterns and this Chinese architecture is really nice and soothing. Oh, I stepped on an apple here. The comment from all over the world you can see in the background here. Really peaceful. So we have another friend joining us soon so we're gonna eat something I guess and then explore some snacks. So yeah let's see what's up next. You even know what you're gonna see when you're walking around here. Now we're in the Bai Sha Tsun. It's like the white sand village and we were actually in the Bai Sha Hu, which is the white sand lake when we were in Xinjiang. But this is a different province. Now we're in Yunnan. We're not in Xinjiang. Really pretty here. Roses in the background. Wow, it's very bright outside. So peaceful. Nice for the soul. Especially when the sun sets. Really, really nice. Wow, well, here we have a bit of a flower garden as well. And now she's gonna show us some stuff in the background here. It's looking really nice. Let's go inside. Wow, I like the photo. Yeah, interesting stuff. So I just walked out there and showed a really nice embroidery of like portraits and famous people and pets and animals, but not allowed to show that actually on camera. So really appreciate that they showed this to us, but now I'm gonna walk out here and enjoy a bit more, see what's up next. Wow, we actually find some Sichuan peppercorns here. You can... That's like very mature, so it's red. Yeah, maybe you can't see it here. But it's like normally you have these as spices. Oh, you didn't have wow, oh, that is very spicy. Mmm, <laughs> nice. Reminds me of hot pot. Sichuan mala. Wow, that is nice. I love this spice. Yeah, so we just came out to that place. Really nice to see all this embroidery. Yeah, this really cool old city here. All these stores here. Sun is setting. So just gonna walk around here a bit. Only have 50 minutes, unfortunately, before I have to go back to Lijian. But so much to explore here in this. Ba Sha Tsun, super nice. Just gonna walk around, see what you can find. So many nice places here. You have this like kind of bar you can sit here, the cafes, and you have this crazy nice background here. The sun is setting, the lighting is amazing. Yeah, we'll have to go back to the other place soon, but I think here Bai Sha Tsun was a bit of a surprise. So I highly recommend to come and check it if you have the opportunity here after going to the Yunlongshan Mountain. Now we're gonna try some local snacks. Ooh, fresh out from the oven, looking nice. Wow, this one is really nice. I think it's like a flower bun. Looking really tasty. Let's try it. Oh, mm, I think it's like the rose flavor inside. Mm, very nice. Yeah, we're just gonna go around and try a lot of nice snacks here. So see what's up next. Wow, try more snacks here. Rose buns. You can see here, very crispy. Looks very nice. Mm. Wow. Really nice and said very tasty. Yeah, but let's try some more snacks. See what we can find. Yeah, we're going for dinner, but also gonna do a lot of snacking. It's the last evening here in Lijiang. So let's find this place here. We have a lot of good tofu. We also have this crispy bread. It looks crazy good. 
those two fills are looking amazing. That one looks good with the pork. Fantastic. That one is looking good. Nice. We have the pork. Bun. Having some nice tofu here as well. That is looking crazy good. We have some nice spices. Ooh, that is looking crazy good. It's tofu here. Ooh, let's try it. And then we have this one. Let's have a look at this crazy feast. That is looking amazing. Ooh, let's have a bite. Mmm, very crispy with the ham inside. Mm, nice dough. Wow, that is a crazy big piece here of tofu. That is looking nice. Let's give it a bite. Oh, oh that's hot. Mm, very tasty. Chili, tofu, very good protein. Fantastic. Mm, a bit hard to eat, but very nice. Mm. We have some other interesting snack, bean-based snack with chili. Let's try it. Mm, also very tasty. A lot of really nice snacks here. Yeah, don't gonna eat too much. We have to save some space for the dinner, but that was very nice. Highly recommended if you come here. A lot of pretty cool places here in the background. A lot of pretty backgrounds and lighting and very moody. And these lanterns and alleys everywhere. Really nice background. But we're gonna go to this restaurant now, have some very nice local food. Great with some snacks, but I think proper food is always better than just small snacks. So we're gonna have to finish up the night here. We have some amazing food, so gonna walk there now and enjoy a lot. Nice, after 15,000 steps of walking and a very long day, we arrived at the very nice restaurants here again. Gotta wait a bit, there's a lot of people outside, but then have some fantastic Yuna food. Same guy we walked by yesterday, so gonna sit down, wait, and then see you inside. Fantastic, so we have to wait 30 minutes for the food, which is not as fantastic, but we can drink outside here. Try a bit of a local beer experience outside in the street. Very nice background with the crew here. Let's try it. Wow, I like it. Yes. Ah, very nice, yeah. Let's have a cheers. Cheers, cheers with the photo. Nice evening. Very nice. Wow, so we offered to get some nice treats here. Local snack with raisins. Wow. And it's looking amazing. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. Not the healthiest, but let's try it. This is amazing, sir. It's that bread ish with some raisins, with some sunflower seeds. Very nice. Fantastic. So finally, we got the table. We're gonna walk inside and check it out. Really nice environment here, really cozy vibes, you can see of course all the great dishes in the background. Get a really nice table here in the background, really cozy vibes here. A lot of Chinese flags because it's China's national holiday, 1st of October today actually. Really cozy here, yeah. Let's sit down and enjoy the food. Nice, we got the first dish already, some vegetables, let's try it out. We also got the second dish already, we have the pig skin, yes, hello. The whole crew here. The background got some crazy nice pig skin here. Interesting. Oh, this is the tea rum. Dipping in a bit of a spicy sauce here. Yeah, it's looking fantastic. Let's try it. Mm. Wow, that is amazing. Some pretty cool spices on top. I don't know if it's like cumin or something. Pork broth. Very, very nice. And they have all these great vegetables here as well. Already tried these yesterday, but they're really nice. Mm. It's gonna be a very nice dinner. Wow, we got a lot of great food here. Wow, we also ordered skewers. That is crazy, nice skewers there. Okay, we got a lot of crazy good food here. Gonna try a bit of the beef. We have even more coming in. Wow. Let's try this crazy beef here first. That is a mountain of beef. Let's try it. Oh, hot, but very, very nice. You have to quote my friend here, having a complete feast. It's crazy. Definitely don't deserve all of this food. Let's try some vegetables. Some healthy stuff here. Prefer go for the meat. Mm. Very tasty. Definitely know how to cook the vegetables in China. Wow, get the skewers. Can never go wrong with skewers. Not the healthiest, but meat and fat and great spices. It's trash. Mm. Pork skewers. That is crazy good. Mm. Life is good. Oh, we got some nice dish here. The mushrooms, I think. Wow, we 
got some nice mushrooms. Let's go for it. Wow, I got some crazy chicken. good fear here. Chicken. Nice. Okay, let's try some of the mushrooms here. Nice mushrooms dripping. Mm. Also really good. They have these interesting orange ones. Very tasty. Okay, let's try the meat now. We have a bit of a scoop here. A bit of a pork ribs, I think. Very nice. Mm. Really fantastic. Let's gonna try. This is pork. So we have some of the pork here, looking crazy good as well. Let's try it. Ginger. We've got a pork and ginger and leek. I think this is kind of what I think of when I think of Yunnan food. Very, very nice. And now we're having a bit of a favorite here again. Potatoes. We had it yesterday, but why change it? I'm broken. Amazing. So good. Everything has been completely amazing so far. We have the fish left. I think that's the top pick actually. So. Gonna have a bit of a dip the sauce a bit. Ooh, dip mm. a bit of a chili action here in the fish. White, very nice. Mmm, such like sweet and sour. We had it yesterday as well, but it's one of the best ones in the restaurant. A lot of good peppercorns here. Really see good stuff. Mm. I think we're gonna take our time here. Enjoy this slowly. So it's fantastic food. Really highly recommended. I think Yuna cuisine is very underrated, so if you take my time here, see you a bit later. Yeah, as you saw, those are crazy nice dinners, so much good food, it's great to share, also you can enjoy so many different things. So just gonna take a walk here, enjoy the streets here, the last evening we're in Lijiang. Just walk through the old city on the way back to the hotel. Tomorrow we're gonna do a bit of a road trip, like six or seven hours to a smaller city and then go Yubeng hiking the day after. So yeah, if you wanna see that coming up, give me a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.